Hey everyone, this is Dale Berkevile with Brandwise, your business misfit. Hey, today I'm going to be talking to you about inspiring others. You can inspire others. Yeah, you. I'm talking to you. <laughs> so let me tell you a little quick story. Hey, thanks for joining. I have been on this interesting journey over the last, I don't know, four months or so, where it's been a little bit of self-discovery and uh, telling my own story. And it's been interesting, and I've learned a lot. And one of the things that I can tell you is, hey, at the end of the day, I'm just some average Joe. No one's special. I'm no different from you and you and all of you that are watching this. So, why am I telling you to go out and inspire people? Well, I've been inspired by a few people. And, matter of fact, Linda West, who put together the GSD 31 Day Facebook Live Video Challenge, inspired me to take action and get out there and do something. So... I did, and I was kind of impressed by what I saw. Um, this is day 16 of the 31 day challenge, and I've been putting stuff out there every single day for the last 16 days, and it's been really cool, and I've learned a lot. But at the end of the day, all of you have a story to tell as well. And I'm here to tell you what I think it takes to inspire others. You need to take action. Hey, Michelle, glad you're joining us. Please feel free to join in the conversation, share some comments, thoughts, questions, and I will answer and engage with all of you uh, as I can as we're going through this topic. So anyhow, what are the three questions you need to answer if you want to inspire others? The first is, why you? Why you? The second is, why do I need to find a platform for me? Why do you need to find a platform for you? And the third is, why is this even important? So let me jump in. Why you? Well, here's the thing. At the end of the day, everyone that's watching this, has gone through some sort of challenge in their life. And whatever that challenge is, they made it through the other side and have survived and come out to tell a story about it. And because of that, you know, you need to look at your story as a, the, a lot, that there's a lot of value there, that someone else wants to hear your story, that's important for you to share your story. So let me jump into number two. Why is it important for you to find your platform? At the end of the day, let me first start by describing what I believe a platform is. And so a platform is any medium or tool that allows you to tell your story, get your story out to the masses. And why is that important? Well, if you don't have a platform, your story dies. So, what is a platform? So a platform could be writing a book or starting a blog and writing blog content. It could be public speaking where you start booking gigs and get out there and tell the world your story. It could be doing Facebook Live or it could be YouTube videos, or just social media posts in general. But it's getting your message out to the masses. Now, why is it important to have a platform? Again, if you don't have a platform, your story dies with you. But your platform needs to be something that you can, that makes it easy to get your story out there. And so... You need to, uh, you know, so how do you know which platform is right for you? 
Well, you have to get out there and take action. You have to try something, you know? So it could be blogging. Get out there and blog like crazy for the next year and see what happens. Get out there and book some speaking gigs and do some storytelling and share your story on stage. Or pick up your phone and start using Facebook Live to promote your story. Put yourself out there. That's an excellent point, Michelle. That's what it's all about is getting your, yourself out there. So once you find your platform, and, and here's the thing. Try a couple different platforms. You know, just do one and keep consistent and do it, do it, do it, do it, and see what happens, what kind of response you get, what kind of engagement you get from your, your uh, followers, your tribe that you're building. And then go out and try another one. And then try another one. And then try another one. And keep doing all of those to test which one works best for you. Um, so why is this important? Well, here's what I can tell you. At the end of the day, there are a lot of people out there that are hurting, that are struggling. And a lot of them aren't talking about it. They're doing it in private at home and just feel like crap or not sure how to get to that next stage or whatever. And because of that, because, they're, because there's an ego tied to it, because there's fear tied to it, because there's embarrassment tied to it, they may not be willing to share the struggles that they're going through. And so it's important because you can tell your story and and it could be the struggles that you have gone through it could be gone through divorce it could be gone through bankruptcy it could be a failed business it could be addiction i mean the list goes on and on it doesn't matter what it is you have a story to tell you have a struggle that you've overcome and because of that if you can share your story it's going to help others it's going to help others know that they're not alone. It's going to help others feel heard, maybe, if they're able to talk to you about it. It's going to help others giving them tips to go from where they're at today struggling to potentially making that next step to get out of the broken struggle that they're in. Thank you, Valerie, for um, sharing your thoughts. It is so true. And I'm glad that you agree. Yeah, and so here's the thing. At the end of the day, it's selfish of us to not share our story when, now that you know, your story can help others. Right? Just get out there and do it. And let me, let me tell you a little story about some of this. So, um, so um, Linda West, yeah, I was drawing a blank. Um, Linda West put me, gave me this challenge to get out there and just do 31 days of video. And what I can say is, for me personally, it has been very good because I'm getting out there, I'm doing something different every day, so I'm pushing myself out of my own comfort zone. I have learned to get over some of my perfectionistic habits or ideas, I, you know, because it's live, it just, it is what it is. Um, it has allowed me to get over the fact of having a perfect script when I'm doing presentations and speaking events. But enough about me. It's not about me. It's about the people I'm touching through doing these videos. Hey, Sam, thank you so much for joining us today. Again, everyone, feel free to jump in, ask any questions, engage in the conversation if you want. But... What I can tell you is that by going down this path, and it's been 16 days and multiple videos, I did 16 videos plus a couple extras where I got inspired and just did something that was kind of crazy or really had a, uh, uh, a fire at the time that I needed to, to get out there. I needed to tell my story, right? Um, but anyhow, Linda put this challenge out to me, and so I started down this, this path. And I was talking about business, and I'm talking about personal things, and I'm just putting it all out there. 
And one of the first things that I saw happen was I saw a handful of other people pick up their phone and say, hey, uh, if Dale can do a Facebook Live video, I'm going to try and do it. So, hey, good for you. That makes me happy to see other people taking action. And a few of those people actually created or tried to create an area of um, passion and safety and join our conversation. We're going to talk about anything you want to talk about and we're happy that you're here, that sort of thing. And so they were already starting to do good, trying it out, get, finding their platform. So that's super exciting. Then there's some people that are on the 31 day challenge and some of them started early and then dropped off. And then, you know, we inspired them to keep going and, and motivate them that, hey, you don't have to be perfect, just get out there and do it. So that's super exciting, seeing someone drop off and pick back up again. And then there was something interesting that happened a few days ago. I put out a video that just kind of laid it all out there that was a little vulnerable, that was just like, hey, F it, we're going to do this. <laughs> and, uh, and, and Remy, I was so excited to see the video that you put out that was inspired partially by me being vulnerable and me putting something out there and me being ballsy and courageous because the video that you put out based on that, um, I feel like maybe you had this thing weighing on you for a while and then you got out there and you put out a message that was kind of along the same lines that was bold and courageous and vulnerable and man, it was just amazing, amazing. Um, so I tip my hat to you for being willing to get out there and be bold and ballsy and just say, fuck it, right? The other thing that is really interesting that happened was I had a guy who is now working for a, an addiction recovery uh, clinic, and he saw one of my videos and said, man, Dale, I like this. Change your thoughts will change your life conversation that I was talking about, about the Be The Change group that we that I started on Facebook. So if you want to see Be The Change and you're interested in positivity, that's a group you might want to join, Be The Change. But in that group, we're also doing a book study on a book by Wayne Dyer that's called Change Your Thoughts, Change Your Life, which is all about the Tao Te Ching, which I wasn't really too familiar with, but it really aligned with where I'm at today. Anyhow, long story short, this guy said, uh, and this is Brian, Brian, thanks for your, your feedback, um, said, hey, I love what you're talking about here, and would it be okay if we shared this with some of the patients, because I think if they change their mind, they could change their lives, and so, you know, we're always trying to inspire them and give them other ideas, and would you be willing to let us show that, and I'm like, hell yeah. I am doing this whole video thing for on a fluke, on a challenge, um, and hey, it's kind of starting to inspire people, and it's maybe going to touch someone, and it's maybe going to make change, and uh, damn, that's pretty cool, and, and you know what, at the end of the day, who am I? <laughs> Just your average Joe, you know, and so if I can do it, anyone can do it. And, and so with that, I challenge you to figure out what your story is. What story can you tell that can make a difference and change lives? And in conclusion, I'm going to go back to the three points. Why you? Because you have a story to tell. Hey, Annie, I'm glad that you're here. Thanks for joining us. Um, why you? Because you have a story to tell. And why do you need to find your platform? Because if you don't find your platform, it's not easy for you to get your message out there to the world. And at the end of the day, if you don't have a platform that's easy for you, your story dies with you. Okay? And lastly, why, do, why is this important? And like I said earlier, there are a lot of people that are out there hurting and struggling, and they're doing it in private, most of them.
But your story, no matter what it is, what you're talking about, something about your story could connect with someone that's struggling. And so I believe it's your duty as a human being to want to help others and to get your story out there and, you know, just put it out there and be who you are and let others take that story and run with it and get fired up and get inspired and take action based on your story. So I challenge you to get out there to try something, to find your platform, and to tell your story. Again, this is Dale Berkebile, the business misfit, telling his story, sharing some motivation to inspire you to take action. All right, get out there, take action, do something awesome, and inspire someone today. Have a great day, guys.